Jim, you know, the bodies of Anthony Tote's wife and children were found at their Florida home in celebration after several calls for a well-being check on that family. And through just released recordings, we do see that there were several people concerned after all contact with this family was lost. Um, was supposed to call us between yesterday and today, and we haven't been able to get a hold of him. I can't get a hold of him, my sister-in-law, or even my nephew. In newly released evidence, we hear one of Anthony Tote's sisters asking by phone from Connecticut for a well-being check because her brother and his family had become eerily silent. My, none of my sisters or my mother has heard from him, and we can't get a hold of him. We now know, of course, Megan Tote and the three children are all dead, and Tote is accused of stabbing his wife and the two oldest as he was under federal investigation relating to the operation of his medical office in Connecticut. Um, nobody physically talked to my sister-in-law since the 26th of December, and my brother has stopped texting as of Monday. The call show Tote's family wasn't the only ones looking for answers. This call from a police officer in Connecticut. The neighbor is concerned about them in Florida, so they reported him as missing. And a call from the Florida landlord as well, after trying to serve eviction papers and while following the family issues on social media. I have on social media, I've just sort of seen that people have not seen or heard of from this family in a long, long time. And I've been trying to um, serve notice to evict them because they've not been paying rent. And this newly released information is detailed. We'll continue to look all of it over and pass along the information that led authorities to that celebration home. Reporting live in Osceola County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.